Okay, cool. Um, so um, let's try this problem here. Uh, how many grams of aluminum will react with three grams of oxygen? Okay, so we've got the balanced equation here, and we're just looking for the ratio of aluminum to oxygen. So it's a four to three ratio. So we know the mass of oxygen, O2, the mass in grams that we have. So we've got that mass of O2. That equals 3.00 grams. But in order to use the chemical equation, we've got to convert this to moles. Okay. So the number of moles of oxygen is going to equal the mass, 3.00 grams, times something that cancels grams and gives us moles. That something is the molecular weight, okay, or the molar mass. The molar mass of oxygen is 2 times 16.00 grams per mole. So that's going to be 32.00 grams per mole. So we put 32.00 grams there. I'm going to take grams. Cancel those out. I'll just erase this. And all we have to do is use our calculator. Take 3 divided by 32. And we get 0 0.0938 moles. O2. Okay, well that gives us the moles of O2, but we don't care about that. We care about the grams of Al. And in order to get the grams of Al, we got to learn what the moles of Al are. Okay? So, the moles of aluminum are given by the moles of oxygen and the ratio of oxygen to aluminum. Okay. So we take the moles of oxygen, 0 0.0938 moles O2. Multiply that by 3 moles O2 over, or above that, Four moles AF. So now, hopefully, you see that moles of O2 will cancel out, and we get 0 0.938 times 4 divided by 3. So our number of moles of AL is going to be 0 0.125 moles. There. But we don't need the moles, we need the grams of AL, right? So the mass of AL is going to be 0 0.125 moles AL times what? The molecular weight of AL. So for every one mole, how many grams? 26.98 grams. Twenty-six point nine eight grams for every mole of AL. Those cancel out. 1.25 times 26.98 gives us 3.3 seven grams of AL. So, 3.37 grams of AL will react with 3.00 grams of oxygen.